I've been backlighting. Okay. Well, good job on the motor, man. Like uh, that's pretty. Oh, thanks. Pretty good stuff. Uh, you're kind of hiding that. I think it's pretty important. Um, Cause, uh, so let's review it. Uh, Cause I'd like to see if I could build it. And we're also getting excited about. We're gonna do this. You know, like we're having trouble with people showing up, and we're trying to solve for people. A lot of people showing up to events. So mm -hmm. uh, then there's the extreme enterprise event. Have you heard of that? No. Nope. Okay, so we're gonna go for a very big event of 2,000 people that we really recruit for, um, like Dude. about a year from now. 2,000 people online to to release the CD. Oh yeah. 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 That, and that. you're gonna build one thing, right? Yeah. Well, we're gonna prototype it. We're gonna build it during those three days too, as far as all the modules. But right now, my mind is on these big events. And the other thing we can do is also call out for a big challenge on a on a hyd solar hydrogen car for all cool. university chapters and that means that, that mm -hmm. includes so many different things the motor is actually in there and and i mean yours is the best i've seen out there for anything uh, like people just don't publish this kind of stuff or not developing this um okay so so yeah uh i definitely uh have hopes on the motor um but with respect to that like um are you able to yeah because i'm gonna start recruiting for that that's going to be uh 2022 for the the solar car solar hydrogen car because that requires um, a bit of uh time it's going to be earth day april 22nd 22 and okay we have about a year over a year to get 2,000 people to show up and actually well that would be the actual build but the year there will be a year of uh university chapter work going up to that i was going to ask uh -huh. you just uh specifically on uh, as far as your school, because I want to open this up to both schools and universities uh, for mm -hmm. all the different things. Um, are you in a position to, I mean, because I think for, for schools, a lot of time it's about time pressure. But would you be in a, any position to start like a more formal, like a club, like say OSC club going towards that uh, solar car, the solar hydrogen Oh, I don't car? know. I, I can't say. I, um, I'm starting off teaching at a new school in September Yeah. Uh, on, on top of teacher training. Ah. I, don't, I can't say yet. I okay. can't say, but uh, yeah, it's one yeah, kind of keep, thing, of course. Keep your yeah. eyes out. At, like if you see somebody who might be in a position to do that at a university or school. But in the uh -huh. meantime, let's, um, let's talk about the motors. So, so yeah, cool stuff. Um, let me share my screen with you. So, so I want to see, uh, see if you're on the same page. So here we've got the free CAD. Um, uh -huh. So this is as built, yeah? Yeah, so this is how everything, you know, should fit together. Yeah, the, so the, the yellow thing at the end, it doesn't really fit, but, uh, yeah. Uh-huh. Okay, well, you, yeah. And this is infinitely because stackable, of, right? Yeah, that was the idea. Yeah, that, I mean, that's that's just brilliant. Like, no, I've not seen, actually, besides ourselves, you, kind of our work, I haven't really seen this stackable. In a, I mean, this is completely stackable. It's not like... You yep. gotta mess with it and make it stackable. It is stackable. You can make one. So here you made. A, can you run it with? Um, so if this is your. I see. So you I don't know. This, this is like a first like experiment in FreeCut, right? So it's I, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Just, there's be probably better ways to do it. In terms of what? Better ways. Um. Yeah. In in terms of just. Um, how do you say that? Um, uh, it's like it's like cut on top of cut on top of cut on top of cut. So um, yeah, after, after a while, it just gets messy. Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we can talk yeah. about file organization, but just yeah. just to go over the, the concept. Would this work with one? So so the the this one that's the rotor. Yep. Yeah. Uh, would it work with one rotor? Yeah. Did you build with two rotors or one? Um, well, the first thing I built was with, uh, yeah, just something I lasered out uh, in wood, and I only had one rotor and one stator. It worked. Wow. Um, so are you saying this? No. No, no, I was, I don't, I didn't, I, it looks hideous. <laughs> it's really, it's just, I mean, there's pieces, pieces of uh, stuck chunks of glass fiber sticking out, and uh, yeah. Well, but it, it man that would and I, and I didn't I didn't follow up on it because uh, I noticed yeah there was something strange going on with the phase angle but 
um, this guy has the exact exact same thing. Okay, so it's not. So this guy is a two disc or two rotor or one rotor? Yeah, this is two rotor. Two rotor. Yeah, because also st I thought uh, the phase angle was off because it was a bit wobbly because it was lasered out. Uh huh. Um, it turns out it wasn't that wasn't it. I don't know. I still don't know what it was, but. Uh, On the three D printed version, was it well balanced? Yeah. Mm hmm And l let's take a look at the cat again. So. Um. So this last disc here, you're driving from yeah. one side, whereas this middle disc yeah. is being driven from two sides. Exactly, yeah. So why did you want to add the second one, just to show that it's stackable? Yeah. Uh, yeah, so I also want, so this, this rotor, um, I don't know, I didn't even think about it that way. Um, oh yeah, no, I see this, so this is, um, one one rotor is out of place, so they have to be switched around. One rotor is out of place. Oh. Yeah, so 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 two ro there's two rotors on each side of the stutter, and I used the the same thing, same file of the stutter just to close off the motor on both sides. Actually, I don't really need that yellow ring. I realize now. <laughs> Wait, you're saying this disc should be right right here? Yeah, yeah, that's where it should be. Yeah, that's true. Uh, so you did have two two double driven stack, but it would have worked yeah. just with this part this part right here. Yeah. That would have been sufficient. Yeah, yeah. it would have worked. Yeah, so did you? Uh, On the so first try, you did one one rotor. No, so the the, the thing I built is uh, it's with two rotors. Even the wood the laser cut one. No, laser cut one is is one rotor. Uh huh. Okay. Um, so was the idea just to get your thinking on this? So the idea to, for for going to the two rotors, you went from the prototype to the second one, where you're already proving out stackability. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah I wanted to make it stackable. But yeah, so I guess it wouldn't have that much power. So maybe stack it up and build something bigger and put it on top of a go kart or something. Yeah. That was the idea. Oh uh, yeah, you're going it, like, uh huh. Okay. So we have this. I don't know if you don't. Then you know this thing is called. Uh, so we have it in in my country because it's rather flat and everybody cycles. Mm -hmm. We have a thing called a velomobile, which is like a, a cycle car. Um, and it's you know, velomobile. Yeah. Do you have a lot of velomobiles around? Cycle cars. Not so much, no, not so many, but um, um, yeah, occasionally you see them, but this would be like, you know, if you want to build like a car, you know, this is not the easiest thing to make, you stick one of these things and yeah. put a motor on it, you know. Yeah, um, tell me more about this thing, how much current are you drawing at what voltage? <sighs> uh, I'll have to look it up, how much Um, it's quite a lot of current for for voltage, I think. Uh, you did twelve volts. I didn't go up to us. Yeah, if I go, um, didn't go up that high. I think. Uh, like six volts. Yeah, up to six or something. I mean, yeah, I was trying it out. It didn't spin at the time that we're we're doing this here, um, and then you know, it started spinning for the first time, and it went really, really fast. Is that Branko, the other guy? No, it's um, it's some of his students. So these are some guys he are in his school, just play around with stuff. Was this um, at your school? No, this is Branko school. I visited him there. What what school? Uh, yeah, the school bunker so works. We have a car so I just and I just had this stuff, and I just yeah, and these guys were toying around in this room, and I was just okay, maybe I can test the motor here. What kind? What kind of school was that again? It's a school in Amsterdam. It's a uh, yeah, secondary, second like high school. Actually. Okay, and is that where Branko is? Yeah, he works there. He's uh, okay.
Oh. Yeah. Okay. Um, are you pulling up how much current you were doing? Yeah, yeah, I'm looking it up. It's on your computer? Uh, um, hmm. uh, cool. And that's the wrong document. Yeah. So it's two rotor, uh, three stator version. Two rotor, oh, one, one stator version. Oh, Only one stator. So, so that it's yeah, uh, everything is you, you can just click and. Uh, one stator. Yeah, it's just you don't have the pancake around each side like here. Um. No, no so I use these stators as just as as lids basically. So there's oh. only stator in the middle. So ah. just because it's it's quite a lot of work just to to uh, do the spindles, the uh, coils. Yeah. And, and so one the coils just you know just quite work. So just, I see. Uh, one. But yeah, you could just add more. But it's you know just in terms of efficiency, just put the rotors in there is just much less work. Yeah. So you had uh so you had what I have here Wait, twelve volts no. had um two point five amps. That's not so much. So, sorry again? Uh, when I use twelve volts I put 12 volts on it, um, what, uh, 200 hertz uh, signal frequency, then 2.5 amps, so not so much. Um, I, I remembered that, so, um, so I had six wires of six meters around uh, one on a coil, so I need you know, a lot more. Yes. I think about going 12 wires of 3 meters or something, that's better. Well, but then this thing didn't overheat then. Did you feel no. it get warm? No, 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 it didn't get, no, it didn't even get warm. Didn't even get warm. See, that's, I mean, that's pretty good right there. Um, yeah. Yeah, but you, yeah. So but I think you know what that what could it power? It could power a fan, or maybe just put some support on uh, mm -hmm. like a bicycle or something. But that's it. Right, um, and that was. So you had it at, const. You set the voltage, and then you looked at how much current it would draw. Mm hmm. Um. I didn't look at voltage and current. I um. I I was looking at where the optimum was. Oh. And uh, so, what's the optimum frequency? What frequency should it have? So, how should I drive it? That was was I what I was thinking. Mm -hmm. um, I see. So. Oh yeah. So, for example, you can. Uh, I guess a good control method would be like if you have a. Because I think an efficient way is to do like a generator style thing where you don't have uh, changing loads. That's one way to go. And that way you, Come can, again? you can do one way where you have uh, to optimize the, the efficient drive of a motor like this. Yeah. Now this is without feedback you're saying. Yeah. It was, it was, it's just a stupid uh, three-phase current going in and you know, just uh, because uh, logging. Lo yeah. Uh, so, um, so what it appears like is that if you have uh, a, a stupid way to drive it, which is yeah. which is simplicity, right? So that's Arduino. You yeah. can do something like that. So you can do something like a like yeah. a very efficient generator that you just select for the correct frequency and then you just let it go. Yeah, that would be a very easy way to control it without. And for high, very high efficiency too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, that's great. Um, 
you had that. Uh, okay, so you showed me the. Let's see, I think on. Let me see. I think you did show the actual. I put a development template here. Build pictures in the video. Oh man, where is that? Uh, you sent me the yeah, link sure. to this. Dr this controller. Uh, oh yeah, uh, yeah. Where is that? What are you looking for? Uh, the controller that you used? Uh, the one I used? Yeah. The really simple three buck controller. Right, uh, I'm looking for the email where you... Let me see, Dirk, where you sent it to me. Can you, can you send that again? I don't know where I lost it. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, where's... This chat is over here. Ten. This is my app. It's a pretty lame thing. <coughs> oh, man. Um, I can't. It's not letting me... Do that. Okay. Click on uh, that link. I mean, what do I Google for? I can show, I can show you. Uh, where is yeah, it was a simple mm -hmm. thing, but I lost that email somewhere where mm -hmm. Dirk controller. Oh, what the? Uh, yeah, yeah, where's my face? Is it, you see this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, this, this, it's like a really, it's, um, it's like a, this, this. The encasing is just heat shrink. It's just. It has the knob too. Yeah, you get this, this knob, but it's just it's just a, a knob that you know, just sends out a yeah pulse width modulate. Yeah. Uh, is the uh, knob for frequency control? Yeah, that's it. And then yeah, this thing it's just really really dumb, really really simple, really cheap, which is good. Okay. Let's see, DC. Um, what's it called? Yeah. Brushless motor speed controller. That's what it's called here. And it's so cheap because it doesn't have feedback, right? Oh yeah, this. Yeah, one. it doesn't have anything. Yeah, it's just, it's just, uh, yeah. There's, I think they have like some feedback thing. I, I ordered it somewhere in Shetar uh, lying around. Wanted to try those, but I think maybe it's not even. Hmm. You, know, you can just drive with one of these things. There's a. Uh, it it looks quite similar to this thing Axel Borg used. So there's this there's this video. What's another thing? It's a when I started uh, testing uh, the motor, it it can start spinning or it can start beeping. Like there's a yeah, it just makes some beeping sound, and I thought, huh. what's what's this? Uh -huh. Um. And then I looked at you know Axel Bors um, channel. And he has like one video there that he made his own little wooden go kart, yeah. and it also starts beeping at the beginning. I don't know what it is. Okay. Um, yeah. Apparently, it's something. Uh huh. S um, can you reliably start it with this controller? No. You well, you can just try a few times, you know, and then eventually it'll work. You mean so you have, just have to spin it by hand? Um, no. So I just wiggle a knob and then it, you know. Oh, wigg it's wiggling on. the knob. That's that's what does it. Yeah. So I just go back set frequency to zero and then just start it again. And then eventually it just takes off. You have to reach a certain high frequency to, for it to take off, or? Yeah. It, um. It has to pick up the, the frequency, basically. And then you increase and then start spinning faster. It has to... It's basically like overcoming inertia, right? Yeah. 
because at a very slow frequency like because that motor does not have a lot of torque it just might not have enough force yeah exactly that's it so you give it so so oh i see i see so it will kind of like try to shake it but it can't move it that's why it would beep then mm -hmm. probably yeah it's like this yeah ah but you could pretty much all the time like it you just turn a knob and then it would reliably self-start yeah can you reverse it come again can you reverse it is it can reversible? I reverse? yeah um i don't know that's a good <laughs> one actually i don't know <laughs> well if the, the knob only has frequency so it'd have to i guess you would have to switch you have to switch to channels or something and that could be done with a simple circuit there too, right? So we could do reversibility yeah. with a simple circuit. Oh, that's great. Be hard now. So it's self-starting in a way. In order to overcome... More or less, right? More or less, more or less. But probably like yeah. um, what would make it more self-starting is if, it, if you had shorter lengths of thicker wire, right? Yeah. Because yeah. you'd have more force. Uh, but wire shouldn't... Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, that's up in September. I'm gonna you know just put some. What's what, yeah? Wow, that's great. Um, Take your clothes in there. So yeah, um, apparently, so this copper wire shouldn't be thicker than 0.2 millimeters in diameter. Uh huh. Because then you get like cra crazy eddy currents in there. Unfortunately, so I just it's still you know, it's a lot of winding. But uh, uh, yeah. Conceptual design. So. And, um, in this iteration, you use zero point two, or what did you use? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, zero point two. I started off with uh, uh, zero point one, but it's really difficult, and you, you know, might break, and so. Ah, so point zero point two, two is uh, safer, I guess. Uh huh. Yeah. Point two. Also, what I tried to do is in this, uh, in this, the the Kafasa sent you. There's these little blocks of this on the side of the stator. Just for stability, because you know this first thing didn't have it, and it, yeah, you just when you connect it, it, it starts um, flexing on the connection points, and it might break as well. Uh, are you referring to the CAD? Yeah. What feature did you add? Um, Those. So if you look at the stutter. These th uh, here. Let me sh yeah. I share my screen. Yeah, they 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 have like a little thingy sticking out. Yeah. 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 Yeah, so it's because so it doesn't break there. Yeah, it's like quite weak spot, spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. That's good. So, and you can just yeah. These things. Those. Yeah. I see my my where's where, where's. I do I, I see my face here really big. I want your I want your screen. On, uh, oh, you want my screen? How do I do that? Yeah. Um, how, do I, how do I get there? Oh, okay. Uh, let me see. I think I changed this. I think I should uh, do this. Oh, yeah. How about now? Yeah, perfect. Yeah, perfect. Thanks. These ones. Yeah. So that the wire, you're saying that you did that so that the wire wouldn't break. Yeah. Well, that's good. That's good. We can optimize that. And mm -hmm. it fits. Mm -hmm. Um. Now tell me how you made the. Well, let me open up your doc. I want to see if I follow that. Um, uh, where's your build instructions here? This is 3D CAD, build pictures. Okay, now the instructional that you sent me is
Right. Mm -hmm. So you've got, um, yeah. Tell me about these. Is that exactly what you did? Because that's that yeah. doesn't appear. Yeah, yeah. I printed those. And you just um, so I put some what do you call this plastic wrap around it. Uh, then I start um, um, just winding the coils around this with some glue, so it just sticks to it, to itself. Then I and this thing you can just stick in the stutter. And yeah. uh, you know, you take it out, and you know, the the coil and the shrink wrap will, uh, and the you know, plastic wrap will stay out, uh, will stay in the stutter, keep in place, and you can wind the next one. It's uh, supposed so to make life easier. Right. So in this thing, what you're doing there is you snap these two together and then wind the. Yeah, I just click on each other. And, yeah. Turn coils around it. And you said that on the first layer, do you put anything underneath there, or that's just the wire? Yeah, uh, just uh, plastic wrap. Uh, saran wrap? Plastic wrap, uh, yeah. Like uh, for like food, food, food wrap? Yeah, for food. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's that, that stuff. Um, but hold on a second, where is that? Is that in your CAD right there? You don't have that in your CAD, do you? Can you yeah, but it's, it's, no, I, I send it separately. Yeah, because it's not part of it. Yeah. Oh, there. No, it's not. I think it's <laughs> some. Uh, no. Um, no, it's not in there. You have a separate file. Yeah. Can you send it? Sure. And then these things just snap in. Yeah, you just click them in. And click them in, and how do you keep them in? Do you put glue around that? Yeah, you, 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 but you have to. Yeah, there should be glue around the wire as well. Okay. Because you know, yeah, just start moving. Um, yeah, you know, just you leave it there. Put a clamp on it. You want the next one. So you have two of these thingies, and you know, just, then it works decently. So you do this thing. Yeah. Where's the clamp? Uh, what are you talking it's about? It's not in there. Yeah, I used to do one of the. Yeah, we got the lamp down, uh, except for glue. Uh huh. So you make sure it's even with a clamp. Yeah, you just hold it in place. Can't miss it. Yeah. Um, I actually don't know. I mean, they're like a bit drop shaped. Maybe they can just be round. You know, just. Uh, oh, I thought you did the the drop shape. There's a reason for that, isn't it? it? It's it's a little more efficient on that, isn't it? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, it fit more. Or in there, but maybe they can just be round. Yeah, they can. They can. Um, but, I mean, if you look at the magnetic forces there, mm -hmm. is, isn't it that... So if you look at this this part here, like the, the vertical part, not the part yeah. on the top and bottom, but the vertical, yeah. that's the part that gives you the force, the yeah. B yeah. cross... Sure. B Is cross it? J, right? I don't know. Uh, and this part here, the one that goes this way, that doesn't give you any force, right? Doesn't it? No. No, oh, because it... Okay. Oh, so you didn't... Uh, this was unintentional? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, this, this design will be more efficient, as far as I can tell, okay. than a circular okay. one. Can you explain why? <laughs> okay. Uh, go to the this is important because this is kind of like the core okay. of how this stuff works and to optimize it later but let's go to the open source electric motor uh -huh. well actually this was in uh, uh, well, let's go to open source electric motor um no, that's not the one. This was under March 2020 Steam Camp, I think. Um, we're looking at, mm -hmm. or maybe January, because I did some work on the uh, electric motor. Electric motor. Wait. Hmm. This was this, batteries, no,
Okay, so that was Michelle's. Um, No, uh, I can't. I'll, I'll, I'll find it for you. But okay. there's a so so basically you've got J cross B. Do you know uh -huh. what that is? Yep. J cross B. So where is the current and where is the magnetic field here? So um, if you if the in your ring J mm -hmm. is interacting with B of the magnets, and you can think that the B is going into the page here, right? Sure. Yeah. Right. So B is going into the page. So. Um, when it's going so so let's take a look at like if you have this part here you see my arrow yeah um yeah so my on the current part right there which direction mm -hmm. is j cross b that's the force that's actually driving uh -huh. this rotating this where is it yeah correct it's it's vertical right yeah and same on the bottom it's going mm -hmm. radial so the force driving it is not anything. It's oh. only it's only these Dude. parts. Yeah. yeah, that was quite smart of me. Say what? That was quite smart of me. You were brilliant, man. <laughs> um, so it's only these parts here. In other words, an elongated ro uh, stator uh -huh. is more efficient because the part that actually provides the drive is on mm. the the elongated parts and very little. On those other parts now you'd think well what's uh why is that wasteful well it's just resistive losses inside the coil right mm, yeah that's just the the loss there okay um, so that's that's the reason and that's why i thought wow this is pretty good it's uh, actually pretty mm. getting towards pretty efficient uh, and we can play with that geometry to optimize it maybe you could do that as an exercise for your students but but definitely you want it elongated as far as i can tell yeah, here. yeah. there might be some other well yeah. Yeah. So this, like the Colombians did, right? So these, uh, these three Colombians that, yeah, yeah I think you sent me, yeah. Oh yes, yes. This, they, this, they this type of coil. Yeah. I think this is also just a lot easier to wind. What they did? They, yeah. So they have like one. Uh, so they they have three winded coils that they just pile I up see. on each other and. Um, well. It has a name, but <laughs> I've got. Yeah. I'm not sure it's going to be easier. Um, just by looking at it, it seems that, well, you'd have to automate doing this, right? We'd have mm -hmm. to yeah, turn that into a jig. But 12 meters, I mean, have you tried just a simple, like, uh, you know, even a cordless drill that you're spinning one of these? Um, no. I mean, that would be a, a simple, simple yeah, so one, right? Yeah, so, because I thought, I mean, the, the, so now I have, like, six wires at six meters. Yeah. So it's just... Yeah. Um, the whole way to the yeah, to the front door, basically that's what it is. Like go oh, yeah, it's two two door handles in, in my house that happen to be six meters apart. Um so I moved there. Uh but so I figured since it you know the resistance of the coils is already quite high, uh so we need actually not six meter six wires of six meters, but you know, just maybe twelve wires of three meters and then it will even be easier to wind a coil. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Didn't bother that much. Okay, that's a good. Yeah, point. You, you just walk. You walk three meters and you're there. Yeah. You know, right. And the more advanced way is you leave the wire on the spool, but you have to know how much you have wound, so you can. Yeah. So perhaps we can do something like count the number of turns. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that way you can leave it on a spool, and that could be pretty quick to wind just by putting another 3D printed mm -hmm. element on this, which has got. Yeah. Sure. Just put a hole in there to put a shaft in through, and then mm -hmm. you take out that shaft. Yep. Something like that. That would be good. That and that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, it's just one. Probably one stepper to do it. Yeah. 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 What kind of glue did you use? Do you describe that uh, in your document or? <laughs> yeah, really, really cheap one. So this cheap hobby glue. Uh, I don't know. Um. Yeah, you can everything works basically. Just you know, just. It has to, it just as long as it sticks, 
right? Yeah. What do you think would be most most ideal? Do you think uh, crazy glue would would be a good choice? Or? I don't know crazy glue. I honestly don't know this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, right. The requirement is that it doesn't melt out. But but since this was so, how long did you run it? Like a minute, maybe or? Well, it's been quite long actually. Yeah, how, so how long? maybe an hour or something. Yeah, I just spent some time spinning. Okay, but tell me the one you show in a picture where it roared up like a like a yeah. hurricane. Is that how how fast did you run it? Not that fast, right? No, not so fast because you know I just you know I wasn't uh, yeah I just I was just picking up random stuff at um, Broncos classroom and uh, just. Uh, was a bit shaky also thought let's not continue this um and the second test i ran here in the, in, a, in a shed in my house because of uh because of lockdown so i couldn't run her in my own classrooms so at your own house you ran it for like an hour yeah something like this and yeah. you it didn't even get warm no it doesn't get warm wow it's awesome yeah but it's you know the the resistance of the coils is really low so it's also very little power involved. Thirty watts. Yeah. With one stator. Yeah. So you could probably say that you know you add the second one that's sixty, right? Mm-hmm. And it's um, how wide are those stators? Um, they are. Stators and rotors. Let's see what what you got on them. So for each each pack, you've got eight millimeters. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So sixteen meter, sixteen millimeters per. Yeah, I, I thought it would be ten. Yeah, you know, ten is like a nice number. And so millimeters. I left there's like um, one millimeter space between the both. So seventeen millimeters per couple. Yeah. Well, that that power could add up. Um, so say you've got, um, you know, say one hundred fifty millimeters, some or or let's say uh, like six inch long. Say like one. Uh, 170 millimeters that's 10 stacks 10 times 30 is 300 watts I mean that's yeah. that's a workable motor mm -hmm. man um, I mean if it's not losing if you can't even feel the heat then this thing must be like it's like 90 percent efficient 80 90. I don't know no, I mean that's really promising. I mean this, is, uh, it's it's really great. I think you you're not appreciating what what's what you've done. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, I think that's that's really good. Like if it's not losing heat, I mean, what other ways does it lose energy, right? For inefficiency, it's just yeah. heat and the resistive losses. Yeah. So if you're not, and then there's the bearing losses, and that's like minimal. That's like one percent. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Yeah. So I mean, this is awesome. So say say you take um, six inch or like about six and seven inch or 170 millimeters, mm -hmm. and then you can actually wait. So in this case, you did one one rotor, two stators, or or one one, one stator, two rotors, one stator, two rotors. Mm hmm. Because that's an easier way to, to build it rather than build yeah, it what's the stator. easiest yeah the easiest way to build it yeah so no, yeah you don't have to wind up money coils you know just two stators to keep everything in place that's it yeah yep yep but let's say you got say you had about thirty watts or maybe even two hundred mm -hmm. two twenty no twenty five or whatever um, well that's getting close to like three hundred watts per a stack that's six like seven inches. Um, and what's the diameter on this here? We've got 
let's say to the outer part. Twelve or ten or something, I don't know. Hundred. About so about four inches across. That's tiny. Yes, yeah, tiny. So that thing is only about four inches. Hundred cent. Yeah, it's like ten centimeters. I thought it was ten twelve centimeters. Or something. Oh, God. Anyway. Yeah. Well, anyway, this is looking really promising. I, like right let's, I think I think we should just build this and experiment yeah. with it. Um, oh yeah, and the way you have the magnet is that is that the actual geometry how they fit within uh, teardrops? Probably. Yeah. Um, well. Getting them yeah. a little more centered would get you a little more efficiency as well, um, probably. Because cool. yeah. you, you have to drive the... It's those yeah. elongated yeah, parts that you care about. Yeah, 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 yeah. You could get much more force out of that, just uh, a little geometrical reconfiguration. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, cool. This is great. Very promising. Mm -hmm. Are you going to redraw it? Say it again. Are you going to redesign it? Like just you know, pull in the my ample spare time? Absolutely, in my ample spare time, yeah. Oh, cool. Which I don't know when that will be. But, yeah, yeah. Uh, someone's going to do it sometime. Uh, did you feel that the, these, uh, so you built in these uh, fan fan blades, did that, you think that helped? No. Uh, or was it necessary? No, I don't think it was necessary. Right. And the, the shaft was just friction fit, or did you put like glue around these things? No, just friction fit. Mm -hmm. mm. That's wow. just that's the spin anyway. Yeah. Also, not, didn't even glue the stutters. Yeah. So that you just snapped them together, and and that's it. Yep. Wow. No, I mean this is amazing. This is such a good experiment, right? I mean it's relatively easy to build. Yeah, that was the point actually. They just want to make something as easy to easy to build for, uh, say, like a fifteen year old or something. Yeah. Yeah, this is great. Mm -hmm. Are these regular skateboard bearings? Uh, they're from a fidget spinner. Because, yeah, just some kids had them lying around and you know, didn't pick them up again. So I had these bearings, so I just start from them. Let's see, what are they? So regular, regular fidget spinner bearings. Uh huh. Okay. Um, sounds good. Sounds good. No, this is great. So I'll take a look at this a little more. And, um,. Yeah, 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 this is great. I um, think that's all I need to, to get going okay, on. Okay, cool. Yeah. Excellent. Um, cool. So thank you, thank you. And uh, so you're going to do more thank experiments you. on this um, in September? Are you going to get your class yeah. to do this? Yeah. How much class time do you have to, to work on this? Um, so I think three sessions of one hour and a half. Um, so these students are pretty, uh, yeah, quite, yeah, a bit older. So seventeen and uh, just adults. So I'm gonna call you around, see what happens. Three sessions of one and a half hours. Yeah. So you're gonna so probably have to just come up, come up with. Uh, so I have to print all the parts myself and just maybe even wind the clothes. Uh huh. Uh, and then we got to do measurements on them. Okay. So the redesign that would happen is you'd have to do it beforehand. Yeah, it would be nice. Yeah. You have some time for that, or? Yeah, yeah I might. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. If you if you beat me to the modifications, let me know. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um. Uh, can I drop it somewhere? Yeah, just drop it in the wiki or something. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. There's a. Uh, yeah, yeah. Drop it okay. onto your uh, this place. You know this place, right? Um, in a question place. What, which one did you, did you send me just now in chat? Yeah. Uh, um, let's see. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah I, know I know that place. place. Yeah, you know that place. Just drop yeah. it there. That'd be great. Okay. No, this is good. Yeah, I mean, this right there, what we have already, I mean, it could be practical motor right now. Just put a little more stacks, yeah. six inch, uh, okay, mm -hmm. American term, seven inch by four inch, and this could drive your small uh, okay. bicycle assist, for example. Could be nice, huh? Yeah. yeah. 300 watts. 
about. Awesome. Cool. All right, man. Well, thanks so much. And uh, we'll yeah, work you're welcome. It. Okay. Take care. Okay. Let me know if you have any question or anything. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I will. Thank you. Bye-bye.